And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two Whats and a Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the whats. And the category for today is body parts. Mindy, why don't you remind our contestants on how the game works? You got it. Contestants, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about body parts. But, and this is a big but, only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you get a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Woohoo! Okay, everyone, ready to start the game? Great, let's get to it. Okay, contestants, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, every year adults shed eight pounds of skin? Or is it B, human eyeballs are made of the same material as iguana hearts? Or is it C, human hair can melt and turn to metal? When you think you have the answer, write it out with your finger on your favorite body part. <laughs> Reggie, <laughs> cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Claire from New York. Claire from New York, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is every year, adults each shed eight pounds of skin, which gathered up all together would weigh about the weight of a Siamese cat, which is a wowzer to me. Winner, winner, unicorn lips for dinner! Thank you, Claire. Contestants, if you guess the answer A, that every year adults shed eight pounds of skin, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. That's right, wowzers. We have billions and billions of skin cells. And every hour, at least 30,000 of them fall off. And you want to know where they go? They turn to dust and collect on your tables, TVs, windowsills, and all around the house. In a way, you're all around the house. <laughs> now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, find the closest person, and say, potatoes have skin, I have skin, so I am a potato. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A? Flies are born with tiny buzzers on their lips. Or is it B? Elephants can hear with their feet. Or is it C? Mouse tails are strong enough to pull a lawnmower. When you think you have the correct answer, burp it out as loud as you can. <laughs> hey, Reggie, <laughs> cue the thinking music. Time is up. To reveal the winning wow, it's Daniel from Washington, D.C. Daniel, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that elephants can hear with their feet. Winner, winner, toast and toe jam for dinner! Thank you, Daniel. Contestants, if you guess the answer B, that elephants can hear with their feet, 
you found the winning wow. Congratulations. That's right. When it comes to seismic communication, elephants are specialists. Exactly, Mindy. They rely on sound waves that travel beneath the surface of the ground instead of through the air. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and recite the following poem to your feet. Roses are red, violets are pink, my feet can't hear, but they sure do stink. <laughs> and with that, we'd like to take a moment to thank one of today's sponsors. Today's episode of Two What's in a Wow is brought to you in part by Cerebellum Brand Shampoo and Conditioner? What? You know, it washes your brain. The best way to get brainwashed. Okay, well, uh, on to round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the extinct dodo bird had feet like a small chihuahua? Or is it B, if you never wear shoes, your toes will grow to be the same length as your fingers? Or is it C, an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain? When you think you have the correct answer, make a fish face and try shouting it through your fish lips. <laughs> Reggie, cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. Well, we've given you time to decide on the correct answer and to reveal the winning wow. Please welcome Julian from New York. Julian, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. Bye, love your show. Winner, winner, dodo dinner! Thank you, Julian. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. With the ostrich being the biggest bird in the world, its eye is as big as a pool ball. And because its eyes take up so much room in its head, there's only a little room left for a teeny tiny brain. We should also note that the eye of an ostrich is five times bigger than the human eye. And if you got this one correct, congratulations! Give yourselves a point. But if you did not, it's time to run around like an ostrich, flapping your arms like wings and shouting, I just want to fly! I just want to fly! I just want to fly! <laughs> I think it's working! I think I'm flying! Damn it! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ugh, what was that? Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. It's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, if tomatoes are fruits, why is ketchup not called a smoothie? <sighs> uh, Who says it can't be? This tomato smoothie is delicious, Mindy. <laughs> you want one? Has that been in your pocket this whole time? No. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations to all the winning contestants on today's show. Reggie, it's time to roll out the prize generator. <laughs> contestants, since last episode, I made a few modifications to our prize generator, and today it is made up almost entirely of junk collected from Guy Raz's car. <laughs> My car? Junk? Yeah, nothing big. Just like the horn, seeds, Mindy. a couple windshield wipers. Oh, and the engine. I use that too. But I think I need those, Mindy. Let's get this puppy generating! Reggie, power it up. Oh no! It's broken! Is that smoke? How am I gonna drive home now? It's okay. It's okay. As usual, I've got everything out of control. Oh, no. All of our contestants today will be taking home their own invisible second brain! I 
I can tell you put a lot of thought into this one, Mindy. The prize machine in my head has spoken, Guy Raz. Well, uh, <laughs> that's just about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little human body challenge for you. We call it Operation Body Part Bingo. We challenge you to attempt the following three exercises with your own human body. Number one, lick your own elbow. Number two, touch your nose with your tongue. And number three, make toot sounds using nothing but your hand and your armpit. Ugh. And don't forget to take a photo or a video of your attempts. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a new episode of Two Whats and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on wowing! Wow.